So, but Betty, I'm, what is the secret to oh, your uh, life success? Forget yourself. Get involved in helping others. I've done that ever since I was a girl. And my children, at 15, my daughter in high school, her leader, who has a wonderful history, said, you know, you're so shy, but if you would come with me and work with these children who were mentally damaged. She was 15. She's 66 in August. She's now helping with the big senior Olympics in August. She's a VIP, but she would not take an office. She took, she and her husband took track and field. They, they love working with those young people. Yeah. Wow. But I've always done volunteer work, like these ladies. You've always done help. Yeah, yeah. This is the first time in my life, though. I'm a congregationalist, I, because that's how I make friends. But the first time in my life, I haven't been able to. But I'm getting better, and there's a church walking distance close to me with only, looks like a cathedral. There's only 160 members. That's the story of our churches. And it's the first time I haven't been able to go. But I still financially support them because I can afford it. You know, it would be... Then I don't have to answer all these pleas. I get 75 for everything from the library I helped build in San Diego. And it's done, and I don't want it supported. Anymore. So you would say that God is the success of your life? I think success is just reminding your brother there are so many who need help, and mostly it helps you. I think that's why I've lived so long. I've worked very hard. We were only a high school teacher in an RN. But I was a charter member of the critical care nurses back in 72. We're watching the Roosevelt series. And Frances Perkins, first woman member of the ch ch chamber of the president, and she was minister of labor. And I heard her talk many times, and it was she who said to Roosevelt, we need nurses. The situation in Europe, we're going to get in it, and we need nurses. And I applied for a scholarship, got my scholarship, and some graduate work. Thank you, God, because nobody was going to send me. They said my twin couldn't go to college. Well, she didn't want to. She, you know, but that was, I've always had everything the grace of God, I call it. Yeah. I like Lourdes. I came here crippled and very sick, and they just told me I wasn't going to get well. It was in November. Ha! And I got Lourdes, and she just, you don't know what a blessing. There's never a cross word. She's such a happy character. She's got this incredible family. <laughs> <laughs> Two boys, 19, 20, girl, 24, just finished her bachelor's in nursing, going for a master's, and really, that's my, and they all live at home. Yeah, one, and that six-year-old that they've all raised, so why wouldn't she be a joy? She never had anything but love. She's a character. You'd think she was 15, she just turned six. Count your blessing and forget about yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. There's so much misery and people who need help. He should join senior citizens. I belong to it, I don't go because of Lourdes, but he needs a fellowship. He needs to go there and meet people that like to do what she does, if it's he does. If it's just a visit,